Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Fridays from the Farm with Farmer Chris. Yes, I am on the floor of the Cottage Home Goat Shed. This week I've been doing a lot of uh, construction work in here, getting it ready for our goats that are going to arrive at the end of February, and I was just struck with the idea of perspective, and I love doing this work, and I think a lot of times... Um, people don't get a chance to get an up-close view of the things, the processes that go on with this. And so I wanted to give you a closer look with that. So we're going to kind of play with some videos of things happening, uh, maybe in some slow motion. I'm going to put you in a time machine. Uh, but one of the things that I think is really cool about this work is it's kind of hard to see right here, but this board that I'm laying next to and the area that I'm looking at it from really changes the perspective of what we actually see. And this is a really cool thing in art because you can use it to make roads seem like they get farther away. So from here, if we look at this board that's right beside me, right here where we are, it looks really wide. It's filling the screen. But as it goes off into the distance, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. But one of the coolest things about this is that that board is the same dimension. It's the same width all the way from the top to the bottom. And so it's just a matter of perspective. And so sometimes when we change our perspective, it changes the way that we see things. And the, one of the other coolest things about perspective is that it's always about from where you are. So maybe it's a perspective on entertainment, something that you enjoy. Maybe it's a perspective on what you see from where you are. Who knows? But that's the coolest thing is it's yours and yours alone. But I would always encourage you to share your perspective with others and remember at the heart of it that it is theirs as well. So they might disagree with you. So just have that in mind and let's get into some different perspectives from around the farm. everybody, welcome to another Curious Corner. So being from Texas, I am not accustomed to single digit temperatures. And because of that, things like what are happening back here always strike me incredibly curious. So this is Pogue's Run. This is the waterway that we filmed in front of before where you've seen it with no snow and where there was just clear water moving out through this entire space. But because of the cold temperatures, it has changed the structure of the water and frozen it so that it has to meander and move down this way uh, differently. And I love this effect because in some places it's above the surface and in some places it's running underneath the ice. And I just think that that is super cool. The idea that this water is moving from one place to another and yet some of it has had to stop. So my curiosity to you is, do you have any water in your life that has been changed by these low temperatures? Is it perhaps an animal bowl that you have sitting outside or perhaps just a bucket of water? Maybe you could do some experimentation with a small plastic cup. Beware of using glass and freezing water just because you don't wanna have an experiment go bad. But again, I would just encourage you to be curious about the way that the temperatures change the things around us and literally freeze them in time. I was just struck curious by that. Hope you are too, and that you're having a really good week. Take care. <laughs> uh. So what falls in the winter, but never gets hurt? Snow. 